Hi guys, good morning. Today I wanted to do another sensory toy collection. Um, I already have two of those videos plus what's in my sensory bag video. Um, but I get new sensory toys all the time because my needs change and I see stuff and I'm like, oh, I need to buy that. So I've got a few items that I can talk through, um, see if I can remember where I got them from. Um, and hopefully give you guys some ideas of what century toys you can buy for yourself or for your children or for someone you know that has autism or anxiety or you know any type of condition like that so the first one I got is this okay this is a spinning ghost wand thing for Halloween um, let me see there you go it's it makes a noise as well um, it was basically in the Halloween section for Halloween from Sainsbury's um, it's very good visual stimming um, oh so I really enjoy that one there you go that's that <sighs> there's also two balls that I've got um, we'll start with this one um, I think this one is based on a children's storybook. Um, it's got like a little picture of a little boy in it with all stars. And that does light up. But you know, you've got to hit it quite hard for it to light up. But it does light up. Um, this one lights up as well. Um, it's just a plain blue one with glitter in it and that lights up that's very fun Ooh. similar to those this is a balloon ball um and when you squeeze it it just pops out um it feels like a balloon um which is very weird but yeah it's quite nice to it's a good stress reliever i suppose um the next thing Oh, also, these balls came from the card factory. Um, it's a shop in the UK, um, so if you're in the UK, you can get those there. This is a concoction that I made of straws and spikies that go in shot glasses. <laughs> I currently work at a student union bar, and I was having a meltdown one night and just put that together. It's a good texture thing, I suppose, so if you wanted to make your own DIY sensory item get some straws and some spikies and just stick them together these are communication cards there you go um, they're from eBay and they've got all the standards you know things of communication if you're not verbal or whatever um, I am verbal, obviously, I'm very verbal, but as I once said, in Meltdown, sometimes it gets a bit hard to speak. And then I've got, like, my own there that I made, like, personalised to me. That's those. These are recent. I got these off Amazon. Um, I'm not quite sure what they're called. I think they're some type of stretchy rope or something, if you type it in. Uh, I'll just get them out. They're long, um, rubbery things that you can stretch, twist, um, you know, overlap with each other, stretch, you know, you can do anything with it. It's quite, quite flexible, it's long, you know, there's five of those come in a pack, um, no, six in a pack actually, because there was a blue one. And that's in my backpack somewhere because I used it the other day. Um, then we've got a wand which lights up. So if I open it, um, you probably won't be able to see the light as well because it's quite light in my room. But that does glow. And then you can put it on one that flashes, one that slowly flashes. Then it goes up the stick and down. And up and down really fast so it does all different stuff 
um, and that was from the pound shop again a UK shop so um, you might be able to find it in a dollar store or something in America but this was part of the Halloween section that I got um, then we've got a new Chewy because I go through Chewies I love Chewies they're probably the thing that I use the most it won't focus but um, this is very good you, know, you just chew it like a normal chewy um and chewies are the thing that i go to when it comes to sensory toys and stuff because most of the stuff that i um struggle with is like tactile and stuff when i think i'm a bit stressed i always go for the mouth i chew my hands um next item is homemade slime diy slime also that chewy came from amazon um it's called a tube chewy or something like that um so slime that I made myself looks like this you know you can squish it stretch it and um, there's also a blue one in there and I've had that for a few weeks now and it still lasted so you know um that's slime and um to make that I used glue like normal PVA glue or children's glue mixed with paint and glitter um, and then with a tiny bit of bicarb literally like a little pinch of it and then eye contact solution um, and you just pour the eye contact solution in it until it begins to form like a, a slime effect like texture and the last item I've got is this lovely night light thingy um, from home bargains that was two pound fifty and it reflects on your wall at night um there's a flashy one there's a like a gold slow one um there's all different like you know that's really flashy there's like slow ones and they're like there's one color ones there's ones like this like it's really nice at night when you just want to chill out and <laughs> Um, relax especially if you want to calm yourself down that's really nice so they're just the new sensory toys I have um, let me know what sensory items you have and also um, put in the comments what videos you would like to see because I'm always up for new ideas um, once again thank you for watching see you soon bye